It's 4.15 p.m. here in Harare, Zimbabwe's capital. Welcome to ZTN News Blitz. Let's take a look at our top stories. Zimbabwe doctors and government own pass continues. Social media hoax sparks flurry at Zimbabwe's main passport office. Zimbabwe church leaders call for election sabbatical. And in sport, Warriors coach names the Chan squad. Zimbabwe's labor court has adjourned to Thursday in the matter involving the country's striking doctors and their employer. This is after the government failed to submit adequate documents. The applicant will now submit minutes of the initial disciplinary hearing by midday tomorrow to allow the court to make a ruling. The doctors have been on strike since early September and have rejected a 60% hike in allowances. ZTN will keep you updated as the story develops. What is believed to be a social media hoax sparked a flurry at Zimbabwe's main passport office in the capital, Harare, earlier today. Hundreds of passport seekers who saw the message formed a queue that stretched over three kilometers, hoping to beat a supposed deadline for passport applications. An official said the application window was, however, open indefinitely. Applicants were not amused. <laughs> Today. The Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions wants the private sector to increase salaries in line with the country's rising cost of living. The labor union is taking the poverty datum line of 1,827 Zimbabwe dollars as the benchmark. If we have to index salary reviews on uh, inflation, the current levels the current salaries are supposed to be increased by 500% or more. That's how we will be able to catch up with the cost of goods and services. Should Zimbabwe take a sabbatical from elections? Well, while the constitution stipulates polls after every five years, church leaders in Zimbabwe have other ideas. They want polls suspended to end political polarization. Uh, the nation to sabbat on all political contestation for a period of seven years to allow for the rebuilding of trust and confidence reset our politics and chart a shared way forward towards a comprehensive economic recovery path in a non-competitive political environment a job applicant was caught cheating in a Skype interview as he tried to lip sync while someone else answered the questions. The bizarre clip shows an Indian man's mouth moving but not in sync with the words. He starts to answer a follow-up question but rambles as the recruiter laughs and stops him. The applicant scratches his nose and shows no sign of remorse after being caught out. We move now to sports, where Zimbabwe national football team coach Joey Antipas has named a provisional 25-man squad to face Lesotho in the reverse leg of the 2020 Chan qualifier. Joel Ngozo and Evans Katema make a return to a team leading 3-1. Zimbabwe Footballers Supporters Association Secretary General Chris Musekiwa says they have joined hands to give returning world champion Shihan Samson Muripo a befitting welcome. Shihan Muripo was victorious at the sixth edition of the Kyokushin Karate World Cup in Moscow this past weekend. He is expected in Zimbabwe this afternoon. South Africa's emphatic 66-7 victory over Canada booked them a place in the last eight of the Rugby World Cup finals in Japan. Scrum half Cobas Reynark scored the fastest ever World Cup hat-trick to set up the 2007 World Champions for a comfortable victory. That's all we had for you on ZTN News Blitz. Catch blessing tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for watching.